Hello, family. I'm Greg. This is Ashley. This Hi. is Morgan. How to's with Morgan and Ashley. That's their YouTube channel. How to blondes make a right is their Instagram. Make sure to go follow them. Hey, people. Hurry, hurry, hurry. <laughs> we recently launched a Patreon, and one of the rewards, if you contributed a certain amount, whatever video you request, we will definitely do. Because on this channel, we primarily only do videos that have multiple requests. Got it. But this one, solely requested by huh? Spree. Let me just Spree. zoom in on her face here so you guys can see. Uh, she's a hot girl. Look at that. Oh, uh, wow. Sexy, sexy Spree. My Halo name on the video game Halo was Killing Spree. Because you know how they're like after you kill so many people, they're like, Killing Spree. Yeah, yeah. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I subscribed a few years ago when I saw your To This Day reaction by Shane Koigzan to keep it to keep it kind of bittersweet. Could you react to his poem, Instructions for a Bad Day? It's Whoa. a very moving poem that has got me through a lot. I know you would appreciate it. Thanks. Are you ready, ladies? Yeah, yeah. because you know what? I could use some instructions for a bad day. Yeah. God knows you can. <laughs> Let's do this. Do we all can. <laughs> Lyrics on screen. There will be bad days. Be calm. Loosen your grip, opening each palm slowly now. Let go. Be confident. It's like a meditation. Know that now is only a moment. And that if today is as bad as it gets, understand that by tomorrow, today will have ended. Yes. Be gracious. Accept each extended hand offered to pull you back from the somewhere you cannot escape. Be diligent. Scrape the gray sky clean. Realize every dark cloud is a smoke screen meant to blind us from the truth. And the truth is whether we, we see, see them or not, not. the sun and moon are still there. Yeah, always. badass lives. Be forthright. Despite your instinct to say it's all right. I'm okay. Oh, Ashley. Be honest. Say how you feel without fear or guilt, without remorse or complexity. Amen. Be lucid in your explanation, be sterling in your repose. If you think for one second no one knows what you've been going through, be accepting of the fact that you are wrong. That the long drawn and heavy breaths of despair have at times been felt by everyone. That pain is part of the human condition and that alone makes you legion. We hungry. Love is still there. Be patient. Every nightmare has a beginning. 
someone asks you, how was your day? Realize that for some of us, it's the only way we know how to say, be calm. Loosen your grip, opening each palm slowly now. Let go. Beautiful. Morgan, are you crying over there? No, but I like went into the zone of like I <laughs> a little teary eyes. Really <laughs> it's the cat, the allergy. You cried? I <laughs> Pussy? No, I, felt, I felt that for sure. Yeah. <laughs> she looked emotional over there. The girl from 13 Reasons Why should have listened to that. The show. Yeah. yeah. The There'd be show. no show then. <laughs> That's true. Could be nobody's. That's yeah. That was wow. very beautiful. That, that was. I had a lot in there. A lot of good lines. Yeah. Before. I like the before you about the quit it continue. I like that. That spoke to me. Absolutely. A lot of this spoke to me before like going into specific lyrics. I really do love the message of this because over the years, without going into too much personal life stuff, over the years with a lot of like personal development of audiobooks and books and seminar stuff and mm -hmm. then therapy, learning to apply positivity, but also learning to face my emotion, <laughs> like a constant balance. And I yeah. like how, how he's talking about that here, how in order to let go, you do sort of have to, you have to feel it and accept yeah. it and be honest about it. I feel like the process of pain is interesting because you have to you have to sort of sit with it feel it mm -hmm. allow it so that way it starts letting go and then you can start applying positive things on top of yeah. it instead of taking positivity and try to block the negative stuff it's like i like how the poem's talking about feeling it all and applying yeah. new things as well in order to keep on moving yes and also where it says like that you have to because it's the one that you said oh ashley where it says like to not say like oh i'm fine i'm all right like it's okay to not be all right because yeah. i do that i'm always like no it's fine i'm fine and like internally like i'm really like sad Aww. you know what i mean so i like that yeah. it said like just just embrace that and it's okay that if you're not it's okay. okay to not be okay yeah yeah she tells me that all the time i say that to you all the time because yeah. i'm like no i'm not okay <laughs> now you better not be okay <laughs> yeah i feel like when most people say i'm, I'm okay that usually means something's wrong mm -hmm. <laughs> you know mm -hmm. I'm, fine. I'm fine i'm fine i'm fine it's all right i'm just tired you know <laughs> i'm just a little sleepy so. what about you morgan i know i'm so quiet that she's still it's letting it sinking in mm -hmm. no because like i mean it's called like, reflecting i'm reflecting no but like you said greg like over the years and through the times we've had i've had some Crap. Stuff like this helps. Affirmations and positivity and like meditating and things like that and knowing that like honestly as terrible as you feel like it does get better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Even when you really feel like you're like I I won't make it past this moment. I won't make it past this second because we you know I think yeah. everybody has been there to the point where they really really feel like that and it's just like mm -hmm. you don't even know you have it in you but you do. Yeah. Like there's a line in there I think he says uh, nightmares have a beginning but bad days have an end. Yeah. Yeah. You know? And you have to remember you have to remember that and sometimes we get so caught up in it that like you can't calm yourself mm -hmm. down. And things like this is just like slow down breathe and just know that exactly. like it's like it's gonna suck yeah. for a yeah. while and or that's for okay. however long like <laughs> yeah. it's okay yeah. if it sucks you know yeah. just be like yeah this sucks and it is what it is but it's it's gonna get better as opposed to like you said trying to like I'm okay I'm fine yeah. like stuff Walk it down with like positive. positivity yeah. you have to yeah. feel it first I read something the other day that like if you acknowledge how you're feeling it, it actually gives it less power like if you talk yeah. about it out loud yeah. it has less control over you because mm -hmm. you're acknowledging it and the more that you talk about it the better it gets yeah. exactly yeah because if you if you it just grows inside yeah. you and it yeah. come out in its own way it could come out by actions you take or thoughts you start having you if you're mm -hmm. really yeah. repressing something then like this spot where they said like every everybody's not been through what you're going through but something kind of like that which is they like, said like don't think that no one's gone through it yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. which is true like maybe on a different level but like still relatable you know yeah. what I mean? yeah i feel like uh, when you're honest with people that usually opens up a door for the other person to be honest as mm -hmm. well. I don't really like to give advice right away if someone's opening up to me about something. Mm -hmm. I, uh, my my goal is to just help them feel understood mm -hmm. yeah. primarily because yeah. I feel like that's what we're mainly looking for. You're looking mm -hmm. for like <laughs> understanding and validation and like yeah, yeah not feeling so for somebody alone. that you want to be heard. Yeah, you know, more than anything. Because yeah. most of the time, like advice, we kind of know the advice already. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's like if we can just let it out, then we can start yeah. applying the things we already know how to snap out of it and, and get mm -hmm. back to doing what you got to do okay so there's a line here you like this one yeah 
Realize every dark cloud is a smoke screen meant to blind us from the truth, and the truth is whether we see them or not. Just from that portion right there, I really like that line because whatever the truth is to us, it's what we perceive to be the truth. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's like uh, what we perceive to be good and bad. There's no, there's really no such thing. We've sort of just decided <laughs> as a society what is good and what is bad. Like, and because the line continues, the sun and the moon are still there, and always there is light. And I really believe that in the gray of things. Yeah. You know? That's why I love this poem because it's about accepting it all, not just it's only positivity, only positivity, or it's only darkness, only darkness. Yeah. It's like no, you gotta you gotta learn to have both in your life. Yeah. And mm -hmm. know when to accept. It's like the the movie. What is that movie with the five personalities? Split identity. No, no, no. The cartoon, inside out. Inside out. <laughs> yeah. So in inside out, like the whole oh. point of that movie was that you have that it's good to live with sadness because it you know yeah. it makes yeah, the person she that spent you are so much time trying to never have her be sad. But, yeah, like, you can't but a big have part of joy her without sadness. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, I get it. So like it's to be you know to feel the sadness is is also you know very important for a human being to also appreciate the happiness as well. Yeah, you know. Wow. It reminds me of a, a book. That's what I got from that movie. I, that movie was great, <laughs> but it reminds me of, I think it was The Untethered Soul is what I read, and mm. it's basically about how, like, they say to, like, acknowledge your pain, because otherwise, like, on your, like, chakra levels or whatever, like, it builds and builds and builds and yeah. builds all of this stuff until you just feel terrible, and then you have all of this, like, emotional scarring that you, because you wouldn't acknowledge that, like, you were hurt in the first place. Exactly, exactly. And then it just, it creates a cycle so that every time someone says something to you that hurts you, it's... It's 20 times worse than it would be if it if you dealt with it, which yeah. totally makes sense. Yeah, I'm reading a book right now. Like I reached page 80 yesterday. Yeah. Oh. The mindful path to self-compassion. A lot of the book, especially what I've read so far. <laughs> May Excuse God me. bless you in Thank the you. middle of you interrupting me talking. <laughs> sorry, that was a good point. I'm, <laughs> really I'm sorry, it's the cat. Having a rather genuine, sincere conversation and sorry, it's all out the window. About now. All our personal development books. <laughs> yeah. Greg and I are clearly the, <laughs> we've gone through it. How's gossip girl? It's crazy. <laughs> just joking. No, 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 guys. I just made a really good point about inside <laughs> out, okay? Just joking. I'm sorry. Jeez. Should I just go bye? Bye. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ashley's actually a very like deep and caring person. Yeah, she is. Deep. Believe yeah, it somewhere, or not. Somewhere she does try to cover her emotions, which we're working on, but it's all right. Yeah, Morgan's <laughs> really working on this with Ashley right now. She does. She does. I really do. She's like, I'm all right. And I'm like, you're not it. Yeah. <laughs> Be pissed off! <laughs> That's what you does. Cry! Cry, girl, cry! Oh, I like the ammunition line. Uh, oh yeah. That's All right, right there. Read it, Ashley. Life is going to come at you armed with hard times and tough choices. Your voice is your weapon, your thoughts. Ammunition. Yeah. There are no free extra men. Man, this is such a powerful poem. This is really your powerful. Your voice is your weapon, your thoughts, ammunition. I was having a conversation with my best bud yesterday, talking about any success we've ever had or whatever troubles we're going through and then how to obtain more. Mm -hmm. And it really is just a mental game. Like any level of success anyone has in any department, whether it just be happiness or financial, it's all about the way you... Oh yeah. Starts with your thoughts yeah. and then your feelings your and then your destroy, actions. Your yeah. thoughts can destroy you or they uh, can yeah. be you know, the power of your success. But at the mm -hmm. end of the day, it's so funny how it's easier to go negative sometimes. Oh yeah. Like it's twenty sure. times harder to be like, oh this is great, this is awesome. Like focus on abundance and yeah. love. And when you're like, but one thing, one thing, and you're like, <gasps> I feel like a lot of the times people will say, don't feel that way, or don't think that way, or you. I especially hate it when someone says to me like, you shouldn't feel that way. Yeah. You shouldn't think that way. Yeah, there are no shoulds. Yeah, exactly. There's I don't, not a book I, on I, how you should feel. I don't feel like there isn't any, uh, there, there's, should or shouldn'ts are not really part of my uh, vocabulary. That's good. Because I feel like, you know, even if you have to get positive, sometimes it's like, if you want to get there, you got to start feel, really processing what the hell's going on with mm -hmm. you currently. Yeah. And then you can start applying these things. Be the weed growing through the cracks in the cement. Oh, beautiful. I love that. Beautiful. There's, I like there's that so lot. many good lines in this. And the guy who's speaking is has a very soothing tone. He had such like an intense. Yeah, <laughs> I thought we were listening to a meditation, yeah, like a totally. guided meditation yeah, at first. Exactly right. <laughs> yeah. yeah, a simple smile could be the first aid kit that someone has been looking for, which is yeah. true. And then it's like it's funny because like there's sometimes where like you'll be on the road or like in line or whatever, and people are like so angry at you or whatever, and you get like so offended. But it's like you don't know what they're going through on their day. You know what yeah, I mean? You're that's not true. With them. Yeah. So sometimes just like being understanding and like not getting mean, you know, back at yeah. them. 
So you don't know what's going on personally in their lives. Absolutely. So, that is so true. Kind of feel that way about celebrities. Yeah. You know when people talk shit about celebrities, like I met him, he's such an asshole. I'm you like, just you never just know. don't know what fucking day they have. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, that happened to me the other day. I was not having a good day and I was very like not not with it. And this girl, like she stopped to let my car go, but she stopped so that I would stop to let her go when I was in her hand. She was like, yeah. <laughs> she gave me all these things. She was like, I was so out of it that yeah. I was like, you don't even know the day I'm <laughs> Just a smile goes a long way. A guys. smile does go a, a long way. A smile goes a long way. Or like gesture. when you pass people, like, how are you? How's it going? Yeah. yeah. Little things like that. I smile at like obese girls at the gym. Do hey. you? That's. Oh, After all this. I know. You just <laughs> erased everything. Oh no. After all these beautiful points you've made, and then you just. <laughs> I, I had to. The, uh, it gets uncomfortable wow. to be good for too long. No, you know? No, no, no. <laughs> you know, it's like, you know how, like, a smile goes on. Have you ever, like, at Starbucks or, like, wherever, like, people will be like, oh, here's your drink. And you're like, thank you so much. Have a great day. They look like, they yeah. Like, yeah. oh, my gosh, thank you. Yeah. They, do, like, the same thing. No they do the same thing, like, if you go to a clothing store and they're like, how are you? And everybody's just like, mm, normally. But I'm like, if you say, like, oh, how are you? They're, they're like, like, wait, what? Who? Me? What? You Which know is, like, crazy because that one thing just made them, like, yeah. I'm doing great. Thank you. Yeah. And it's like, how many people go through this? You're making them coffee or, you know, yeah. customer, being a good customer service person or whatever. And like, no one says shit to you. No appreciate. If people just want to be appreciated. Mm -hmm. I think what helps too in like situations like that is if you, if they have a name tag or if you learn their name and you mm -hmm. say like, Thanks, yeah. Brian. thank you, Jen or whatever. Yeah. Thanks, yeah. Brian. Yeah. When you say, when you say their name, I feel like that makes them feel a lot more valid. I always do that on the phone with customers. Hi, this is, you know, Terry, how may I help you? Hi, Terry. Yeah. <laughs> I'm calling this a question. My bank account's in the negative right now. <laughs> I don't know what the hell happened to my... <laughs> I'm using positive affirmations. Yeah. I've been I've saying I have a lot of money in my bank account, but it's just not showing up today. <laughs> I've been reading The Secret, and it tells me that I'm going to have a lot of money by the end of this. What? I'm just putting it out there. Checks in the mail. Terry, this isn't working. Hook me up. Love and hate are beasts, and the one that grows is the one you feed. Oh, I yeah. think that's mm -hmm. so true. That I've, is true. Yeah. I learned from a book that said, said uh, and the whole like the whole chapter I read of this of this book was talking about how every emotion, essentially every emotion, comes down to love or fear. Yeah, I read Maybe. that in the Gossip Girl book too. <laughs> Don't. Book four. <laughs> you yeah. Edna, Edna, and like hate would go under the category of fear. Yeah. And uh, whatever one you feed, I feel like you'll attract. No, yep. ma no matter what oh, yeah. it is, you love or fear, whatever one you're most in tune with, you're going to yeah. attract. So it's important to acknowledge these things. Oh, man. We had a good therapy session. Fear is, this is good. Fear. Who needs therapy? We just need a poem and talk about it. <laughs> fear can ruin every. Fear is like 99% of what ruins everything with mm -hmm. everybody. False evidence yeah, appearing false evidence. real. Yeah. Oh, I read in a book, Big Magic by... That's a good Robert. one. Yeah. yeah, where she says fear is always going to be there. Like, you can't, like, we try so hard to, like, get rid of fear and be they fearless, but it's it. always going to be there. So you got to be like, I'm putting you in the backseat. You're always going to be there. Thanks for trying yeah. to protect me. I'm not going to listen to you, and I'm going to keep going. Like, yeah, it's like, be afraid. Do it anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Might as well just give it a shot. I've also heard fear acronym, uh, forget everything and run. Not run away. Uh, that means, like, run, that run, means run, just, just run. That means just do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, it sucks because like yeah. fear and judgment are there to like help you. Like they're uh, like if you're walking down an yeah. alley and you get scared, that's what it's supposed to be. And then we've taken it and made it so much more. Like you know, yeah. oh I love you, I'm scared. Oh mm -hmm. you're gonna hurt me, I'm scared. Oh I can't do this because then it's like your fears are it's, it's not I, real. I feel like mm -hmm. the best way to deal with fear or like nervousness or anything is is first just acknowledge it, just admit it, I'm and scared. then do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Otherwise, yeah. it'll contain you, and Don't you're try trying to, to cover, cover it up, up, and it's just gonna overtake somehow yeah, and fuck up everything. All right, great poem, Ooh! Shane Koikson. Yeah. I've heard a couple of this guy's poems. He does do some great poetry. Spree, you beautiful, hot piece of ass. What, what was I about to say? You were gonna say ass. I was gonna say what chicken gonna say. ass. <laughs> I don't know. What does that even mean? I don't know. <laughs> well. well, Spree, we went on a, a talking spree for you. Oh. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to The Real Rejects. Woo Check out more of Shane Koikson's videos. How to's with Morgan. That's Morgan Han. This is Ashley Edner. How to's with Morgan and Ashley. A video of mine will be up there soon. Yes! And Check it out. How to blondes make a right. We try. Morgan, like when life hands you Morgan on Instagram and Ashley Edner 
on Instagram. We're so crafty. Peace, Peace my out. motherfuckers. Yeah, bitch. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.